Let's see if your swing plane is more up and down or more around. Keep in mind, neither one is wrong. What's important is you find out which one is right for you. If you are short in stature and stand a little bit further away from the golf ball, your swing plane is gonna swing more around than up and down. The golf club is gonna travel closer to your right shoulder. The grip end of the golf club is going to point more towards the target line. If you are tall in stature and you stand a little closer to the golf ball, your swing plane is gonna swing more up and down. The golf club is going to swing closer to your right ear than your right shoulder. At the top of the backswing, the grip end of the golf club is going to point more towards your right foot than the target line. There is no one swing plane, but there is the correct swing plane for you. So what flat? This is too much below the correct swing plane for you. When you swing the golf club up, if the golf club gets on top of your head near your right ear, this is too vertical. So the ideal spot when you swing the golf club back is to be between your ear, the back of your head, and your right shoulder. This is on plane. So it doesn't matter if you swing the golf club on a flatter plane, it still has to go up to this position, or if you swing the golf club on a more upright plane, as long as it's in this area of between the back of your head and your right shoulder. What you have to decide is do you swing it more around than your friend who swings it up and down? That's all that matters. There's only one reason why you need to know if you swing the golf club more around or more up and down. I think you've guessed it. How could you fix yourself? How could you help yourself? If you swing the golf club around and you get too flat in the backswing, then you have to give yourself a fix that would get the arms to go up to stay on plane. But if you thought that you already swung it up too much, you wouldn't give yourself that fix. On the other hand, if you swing the golf club too much up and down, then you're gonna need something that gets you to swing it around yourself more. That's why it's important that you know whether you swing it around or up and down. I'm five, seven and a half. And when I swing the golf club back, I would say that I swing the golf club on a much flatter plane than someone like Tiger or Ernie Els. But you have to remember, we're only this far apart at the top of the backswing. We're not miles apart. So when I'm struggling, if I'm not on plane, let's just say that I'm too flat, too much behind me. Well, if this is where I was with my seven iron at the top of my backswing, this is correct. That is not even three inches. On the other hand, because I'm a little shorter in stature, I'm supposed to swing the golf club around me, but let's say it starts to get up too much. If I wanna flatten the plane, I just move it an inch or two. We're not talking miles. So if you're struggling and you're swinging the golf club too much around you, all you have to do is step in an inch and that will make the golf club go up and down more. So don't get confused over the fact that if you swing the golf club too flat and you need the plane to be a little bit more upright, it's not this much, it's that much. Now, this is what happens if you try to fix your plane and you overcook it. So let's say that you swing the golf club too flat and you think that you need it a little more upright. Well, if you overcook it, you will hit the ball fat right off the bat. So I'm gonna stand in a little closer. I'm gonna turn and fold the arms up more. I guarantee you, you will swing it right into the ground on the first time out. It's natural, because if you take it from flat and try to make it a little more upright, you're gonna swing it into the ground. On the other hand, if your 